Hello, I'm going to talk about the uh, structure of the atmosphere for meteorology. Now, the basic structure of the Earth's atmosphere is actually quite simple. There are multiple layers rising above the Earth's atmosphere, and I'll only be covering two layers located closest to the Earth's surface. That's the troposphere and the stratosphere. The troposphere is the part of the Earth's atmosphere we are most familiar with. It contains the air we breathe. Generally speaking, as far as the troposphere is concerned, the most dense air particles are found closest to the Earth's surface. Also, as you climb further away from the Earth's surface, not only does the air density decrease, but the air temperature also decreases with altitude. This explains why we get snow in the mountains. It's colder on top of the mountain than it is at sea level. To sum up the troposphere, generally speaking, the air is more dense closer to the Earth's surface, therefore a higher air pressure. And as you climb higher away from the Earth's surface, the air density decreases. Therefore, the air pressure decreases. Temperature of the air also decreases with any gain in altitude. The height of the troposphere differs in different parts of the Earth. The troposphere is highest over the equatorial region and lowest over the North and South Poles. The troposphere is usually as high as 60,000 feet over the equator and as low as 20,000 feet over the poles as shown in this graphic. These are not exact heights, they're only estimates. The tropopause is the boundary layer separating the troposphere with the next layer above it, the stratosphere. Now the main distinguishing feature of the tropopause is any gain in altitude, the temperature actually remains the same. The temperature does not get any colder with any gain in altitude, unlike in the troposphere. The constant temperature with gain in altitude is called an isotherm. The tropopause represents where the isotherm begins. The stratosphere is the layer above the troposphere. The lower part of the stratosphere, as you now know, maintains a constant temperature with any gain in altitude. However, this does not remain throughout the whole layer of the stratosphere. In the stratosphere layer, it eventually reaches a point where any gain in altitude actually increases the air temperature. So the lower part of the stratosphere starts off maintaining the same air temperature with any gain in altitude and eventually gets warmer with any gain in altitude. That's almost the opposite of what we're used to in the troposphere. There's no need to go into any details as to why this is the case, but it's important to understand the basics of both of those atmospheric structures. And that covers the basic atmospheric structure around the Earth.